Good morning from Explorer of the Seas. We just docked in Dubrovnik. Now to give you an idea of where that is, here's Italy, right? Here's Dubrovnik, that's where we just docked. And the, yesterday we were in Zadar, Croatia. Before that we were in Split, Croatia, right here. Now this is our last stop in Croatia, which is Dubrovnik. Coming into port this morning was the most scenic port we've seen yet on this trip. Yeah, there were like little islands and we saw like castle walls and lighthouses. Yeah. And then we saw this Viking ship underneath the bridge. The bridge looks gorgeous. Yeah, and now we are now we're parked right next to that Viking ship underneath the bridge. Lots um, of taxis are here today yes. to take you to Old Town. Old Town, I guess, is, is far away, not within walking distance, so there's lots of, of people ready to take you there. There are tons of taxis to bring you to Old Town. That's where you want to go in Dubrovnik. So if you don't have an excursion, the taxis are there waiting for you. But not to worry, we do have an excursion today. It's yeah. through Royal Caribbean and it is called Medieval TV Show Sites in Dubrovnik. Yes. Medieval TV, I wonder what that means. It's almost <laughs> like they're not allowed to say the real word that they want to say, which is Game of Thrones. Yeah. But um, we can read through the lines and know what We it all know what it is. When you even read the description, it's like, it's saying Game of Thrones without saying the words Game of Thrones because they probably don't have permission to do that. Some sort of copyright issue. <laughs> but Dubrovnik is King's Landing. Which, which is, is the amazing. show, really. That is the show. That is the most recognizable part, like, setting, I would say, yeah. of the show. It's sure to be a great day because it looks absolutely gorgeous in town. Yes. Yeah, so far it's blue skies. Hopefully we still have that when we get into Old Town. Okay, let's go. Okay. We got off the ship, and after a quick bus ride, we started the tour. Okay, so the tour just started, but so far it's really cool. We haven't even really made it in yet. No. We haven't even seen much already, but I'm already impressed. I am too. I mean, we've only been in the city for <laughs> 10 minutes. My favorite port of the trip so far. And I, I agree, I think this is my favorite port so far. I like it better than Split and Zadar so far. I mean, I mean, look at this, like we're just, like everything just looks amazing here. And we haven't even really started yet. I mean, no wonder they chose to film here because I'm literally looking at this and I'm like, this is insane. This yeah. scene, it, it's, it's like from- It's so scenic. It's like, of course you would want to film something here. We're walking into the, the fortress now. She said um, to get all their production equipment and camera equipment up in this thing, they used to use a helicopter. But they were because only allowed to a couple of times because it's protected by UNESCO. Yeah, it's the only way up because these stairs are the only way, so they had to use a helicopter. Okay, so we are at the top of the fortress now. We have Old Town behind us, AKA King's Landing. Right over there on this circle where the flag is, is where um, Tyrion and yes. Varys, Lord Varys, they would have like their secret meetings yes. to plot and things. So the fortress we're on right now was in, a background, in the background of a lot of different shots. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, um, King's Landing was destroyed in the last season. And our tour guide says she doesn't have the heart to watch it be destroyed. Cause it's like, it's her city and like, she doesn't have the heart to watch it, which it's so sad. <laughs> I know, but what's also crazy, she was like, obviously they didn't destroy the real city. Yeah. So they had to build another set and the, mm -hmm. the set, they have one that's like fully together and then another set that's like fully burned because that's what happened, spoiler alert, in the last season. Yeah. I mean, and there's, there's so many scenes that our tour guide is going over that is just, it's really hard to keep track because there's so many different things. Like, so this wall where we're at, or like, I think actually down there, where those people are standing down there is where the tournament was. Yeah, for the hound. And, yeah, and then like down here, there's multiple scenes. Like there was a scene where like, there's like a peasant like cleaning up like blood from like a murder. There was a scene where they were like talking about Arya being yeah, like, gone. Little, little finger was, had like a famous scene down there. And the other side of this wall here, there's a park down there. That's where Joffrey got married. And it's where Joffrey got murdered. Yeah. Which we and love to see. Our tour guide said that she actually knows a lot of people that worked in the production of the filming and that Joffrey and Cersei, you know, they're evil characters in the show. And when they were here, the locals couldn't really separate the fiction from like the, the acting, like the character from the actor. And so they were kind of treated like they were kind of like ignored, like people wouldn't bother them. They weren't like because like they thought they were evil or they would like spit on. them. No, they didn't spit on them, <laughs> but they were like she said, like they were basically avoided. But the thing is, the guy that plays Joffrey is also like the nicest guy ever. And so yeah, that's like, what, yeah, she said 
that um, Cersei and Joffrey, the actors um, playing them, were really, really nice, but people still just avoided them because their characters are bad. <laughs> That happened to me when I played all the evil people in plays. I would be like Sharpay in High School Musical, or I'd be like Amber in Hairspray, and like nobody would clap after my songs because it's like the evil person singing. No one wants to hear that. So now we're on the lower level of the fortress, and so I think there's a couple of scenes with the Hound here, and then there is a thing with Joffrey standing up there, but they had to use a little bit of green screen to fill in the fortress there. She was saying that like in the first couple of um, seasons they would go exactly like what the book described it as and then like later they got lazier but so like they had to put a green screen there in order to make it more true to the book. Yeah. Okay we came down from the fortress there and in the show sometimes they added two little columns there in CG but that's the fortress and uh, we're in Blackwater Bay right now. This is the pier, right? This is the pier? Yeah, this is the pier. At the very end of the show, um, Jon Snow was seen like going off to the, the wall from here. Like they sent him off from here. It looks amazing here. And um, down there by where the kayaks are, uh, there's multiple scenes there on that beach. Um, I can't remember all of them. But also interesting just because of the area, sometimes when the weather is bad, these waves will come all the way up here to the to the wall here. Um, so it, we're, we're lucky that we can actually stand here. Okay, we just entered the main area of King's Landing now, AKA the Old Town. This is like the main entrance. Yes, and there was a scene here where I guess Joffrey was leaving and she said the extras, the locals here in Dubrovnik who were played the extras were very happy to throw stuff at him. And you can see, I mean, it looks exactly like it from, like you can see the stairs match up perfectly. Okay, this area here is where the walk of shame happened. Shame. She told us earlier that people after that scene came out would start getting naked and doing the they same were, thing here. They were recreating the scene. They got fined. And yeah, they had to get fined. And like a lot of tourists were actually recreating the walk of shame and actually getting naked. That is so crazy. <laughs> What did you say? I was like, and I'm gonna do it right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're at the top of the stairs where the shame scene was. Who could forget it? Cersei stood right here. She walked all the way that way. They added a castle in, yeah, the, in the background so that it would give like a destination for where she had to walk to. Which in reality is the cable car. <laughs> this is what the top of the stairs looks like. They and added again. in a fake church so that yeah. it would be like right at the front of the staircase, whereas yep. this one is like off to the side. So she said the summer after that episode aired, it was actually like a major problem in the city of people recreating the shame scene at one in the morning, doing it naked. And, and people live here. And people live here, basically where those windows are, are people's houses, people live there. She was basically saying the police here mostly have to just like yeah. tell bars to lower their music until that one summer when it, like the police had to actually get more involved to like stop all these hooligans from stripping down and running through the city naked. Yeah, so we're walking on the steps right now. Shame, <laughs> shame. I just wanted to tell you guys that there's a cat over here and he has his own oh Instagram page and really? I feel like we should all follow it. His name right. is Johnny the Boss. Let's go look at it. I love him and I want to take him home with me, but I know he already has a really great home right here in this window. And he sells uh, coffee and, and alcohol water and cocktails. And he's right by the shame thing. Um, another thing is there's, there's a lot of houses and restaurants and shops along this whole shame area and they had to shut this whole street down for the filming. So the production actually paid off all the shops. They said basically, how much do you make per day? And the restaurants, how much do you make per day? And they gave them more than what they made per day to shut them down. And, they and there also, are people with like air conditioning units outside of their homes that they also had to like take down because they were making too much noise for production. So they had to pay those people off. Yeah, and like the people that live here, they wanted their windows shut the entire day during the filming. So they paid those people off too. And she said it was like a lot of money to like Keep quiet and keep your window shut. I'd take it. Okay, we're at the top of the wall here. We can see Old Town, AKA King's Landing behind us. This is an amazing vantage point up here. Um, our tour guide said that the locals here, I was wondering about this. They love that Game of Thrones has brought all this tourism here. And before Game of Thrones, 
their uh, like tourism season used to be three months, and now it's eight months, all because of the show. And they love it, and they even want it to be more. Like they're trying to extend their tourism season. So you might be thinking, like, oh, what do the locals think about all these people doing the Game of Thrones tour? Well, they love it. It's a lot of stairs. <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't know how Cersei was walking this wall all the time because she should have been out of breath more. Look at this, this is amazing. This is gorgeous. Okay, we're still walking up to get even higher. Oh my God, I can't believe we're going even higher. I'm like scared. On the walls here, yeah. Well, we keep continuing on this wall. We keep going higher and higher and the view just keeps getting better. She said at first, when Game of Thrones first started filming here, like season one and two, that it was really easy for them to film here because nobody knew what they were doing. They didn't really think it was a big deal. So the locals would see them filming. They would just leave them alone. They didn't really care. They thought, oh, it's a documentary about medieval stuff or something like that. And then she said, as the show went on and got more popular, people really started to care. I'm out of breath from the stairs. And um, it was harder and harder for them to film because people would you know want to like steal props or get in the shot or just like crowd them and watch them film so and she said at first um the actors after filming after a day of filming they would go out into town go to dinner go to the bars and nobody knew who they were and it was no problem for the actors to wander around the streets because they weren't being recognized but then as the seasons went on they couldn't just go into town and go into local restaurants and stuff like that anymore because they would just get hounded by people wanting photos and autographs and stuff like that. Okay, we made it to the top of the wall area now. I guess this is where Jon Snow left to go to the Night's Watch. It's amazing. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And there's even a basketball court here, which is kind of funny. Who would have thought that a basketball court would be like on the wall over, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. And interesting angles for it, too. Yeah, they really had to pack it in there. So this is the area where Daenerys was. Mm. Carrie's recreating the scene. Do I look just like her? Fun fact, uh, Amelia Clark and I are the same height and weight, so really? basically I really am her. Okay, you could be her stand-in. I could. Okay, we are heading down now. I think our tour, our filming location tour is coming to an end. Wow, this looks so cool. Oh my god. Steep too. Stairs? Yeah, it looks amazing. It's like we're on the Great Wall of China. Yeah, the city has gotten so popular because of Game of Thrones. And I mean, when we saw that we were going to Dubrovnik and we looked at the excursions and we saw the Game of Thrones tour, we're like, instantly I was like, okay, I want to do that one. And I feel like a lot of people have the same feeling. Yeah. There are a lot of scenes that are filmed here. I, it's, she's going so quickly, it's, it's so hard to keep up. There's, there's so many scenes. It's overwhelming to keep up with. Like there's just like so many and she has this giant booklet and there's just, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot and I'm sure there's even more. I mean, everywhere they could, they probably were using different areas for different backdrops. It you know? seemed like in Split, there were like two, three, four scenes, but here it's like, it is littered with scenes. Yeah, it really is. Okay, our Game of Thrones uh, filming location tour is over, and we're on our way now to the um, cable car. And first of all, this Old Town area is amazing. Like, look at this alleyway down here. The There's stairs. ice cream and pancakes down here, but like the staircase all the way up there is gorgeous. And also, the ice cream and pancakes, gorgeous. Looks amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so we're gonna head this way to the cable car. I think we're probably going to have to walk up a staircase just like that to get there. Oh, really? Yes, but we'll find out. So we thought we were done with our stairs during our fortress but, battle, but no. That's okay because, I mean, look how amazing this is. We're on our way to the cable car and like... <laughs> At least we get to rest when we're in the cable car. I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Like the, the, the signs for the businesses are these lanterns. Oh, that is cool. I can't tell you how many uh, Game of Thrones businesses we've seen, by the way. This is called the Dragon's Cave. Oh, here he is. <laughs> He's here. Tyrion is here. He lives. Oh, here's the dragon. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's the old city there. We're in line to do the cable car. We're getting on right now. It is going to be 
packed, I think. Okay, we're in the car. It is packed in here. Luckily, we have like the window seat this way. Hopefully, we're not at the weight limit. It, it beeped at us and it scared me. Okay, here we go. It's smoother than St. Thomas. Oh, it's so smooth. It is shockingly smooth. It's kind of like um, the thing we did in Norway. It's more like that than it is. Oh, like the funicular? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Look at these views. It's very quick, too. We have 15 minutes for our reservation that we have for lunch, and I think we're going to make it. I was worried this thing was going to be slow. Yeah. You can see the city wall there. That looks so cool. Whoa. Whoa. There goes another cable car. Look at all the things that we walked today. I know. We walked that fortress, then down towards there, then we walked all the way over, and we did the wall. My legs hurt. Yeah, this was exhausting. This excursion was listed as strenuous. I am ready for a sit-down lunch. Okay, we made it to the top. We think we're going into a restaurant called Restaurant Panorama. Oh my god, the weather up here feels so much nicer. It's like a different ecosystem. It really is. It's so much cooler and it feels oh windy, God. but I need this. It feels amazing after all the walking we did. And it's been like very humid down there. It doesn't feel humid up here. No, but here it is. Oh my God. This is amazing. There's a little like crevice right here and I tapped on it and it like felt me go down and I was like, oh my God, I'm going down. <laughs> this looks so insane. Oh, look, this is what made me feel like I was tripping. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it says restaurant down. I had no idea they also had a zip line. Are you kidding me? I think I might have been keeping that from you because really? I don't want to do that. I want to do it. The restaurant has an outdoor seating area, but we're gonna, we got a table inside. Because it's very windy and I forgot my hair tie. And if we were out there, it would be like, and I don't really want that right now. Yeah, but we still have a view of the city here. Also, it looks like it might be raining over there, so. At any moment, it could be raining over here. Yeah, probably another reason to eat inside here. Okay, we got our Panorama Restaurant and Bar menu here. Once again, is this the Cheesecake Factory or is this the Restaurant Panorama? <laughs> this is gigantic. I can't tell, like right now, it's considered lunchtime. I can't tell, like, is this just our menu or is all of this our menu? I don't know. But I don't know. This thing is huge. Okay, to start, we actually got some Coca-Cola with orange slices. That's just how it came. We didn't ask for that, which is awesome. I, it actually tastes really good. Yeah, and we got some focaccia bread. And they gave us olive oil and balsamic for it, too. The bread looks really good. Also, they give you, like, sanitizing towels, oh, yeah, yeah. and I really appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Okay, we're gonna do our dinner time question at lunch today. What? We're breaking all the rules, and don't worry, we're still gonna get dinner. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> we're probably gonna get lots more food. We're gonna get a lot of more, lots more food, but we're just gonna do our question at lunch today, and you will find out why soon. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is from Lara B. Okay, they say, why do you both almost always order the same foods? We would love to see more of a variety in your thoughts. New subscriber here, so not sure if there's a reason behind it. Favorite cruisers to watch for sure. Oh, thank you. So there's not really a reason to it. Um, for one thing, like in Friends, Joey doesn't share food. Carrie doesn't share food. So I don't want like what Brian's getting. I want what I'm getting. And so I just want to get what I want to get from the menu. And I think it just so happens that what I want to get is also what Brian wants to get. Well, well we're very similar, I guess. I think we're just made for each other. We have other. similar tastes. We're like perfect for each other and therefore we have similar taste buds. Um, and so I I don't want to like change what I want to get in order to like make a better video. To, to like, oh, we're, we're eating more of Royal Caribbean's food, therefore we're like making a better vlog. I just want to like eat what I want to eat. Because we're on vacation this whole time. It's like, this is, this is our break from our lives and I just want to eat what I want to eat, you know? Yeah, I do understand that it would make a better video, but we just want to get what we want to get. And if the video suffers, who cares? So be it. <laughs> well, I guess the viewer might care, but... <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh well. We're about to get the same food. Yeah. Okay, we got our food. That looks so good. Look at this. And a napkin on top. You gotta have that. I need that because it's gonna be messy. This is the chicken burger. What is on it? It looks like bacon, onion, I think there's coleslaw and tomato. 
and it's a fried chicken patty with fries. And you know how we feel about a fried chicken patty in a sandwich. <laughs> oh, we, we like love, it. We love chicken sandwiches. Also, I got the fries too because you can't go to Croatia without getting the fries. Are they good? <laughs> they are so hot. Wow. They're good. Okay. And um, oh, I also got the chicken burger. I got the same thing. Huh. It looks really good though. Oh, and there goes the cable car. It's really good. It's so tasty. Also, the fries are really good. These are the best fries ever. And I feel like when we were booking this place, it was like I saw the photos of the fries. Yeah. I, well, Carrie told me like, oh, we're going to this place for lunch. They have really good fries. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, Croatia has really good fries. And Carrie was like, yeah, they, Croatia has great fries. I'm like, so that's why I've been saying this whole time, like, oh, you can't go to Croatia without getting the fries. It's not even because, like, I read that Croatia has great you fries. I just saw the photo yeah. and was like, those look like good fries. Like, oh, there's french fries there. I was like, okay, let's, <laughs> let's do that. So I thought the food was really good. What did you think? Yeah, I agree. I think the fries were obviously the star, as I knew they would be. And the chicken burger was really good, but it got really messy, so I ended up using a fork and a knife to eat it. <laughs> but it was delicious. What did you think of our excursion? I thought it was really good. Our tour guide was amazing. She was really knowledgeable. Yeah, she was. And like, it was just, we went everywhere. It was a little quick and kind of strenuous with because of all the walking that we did. Yeah. And it was a little hectic because of all the cruise ships that were there today, but I'm so glad we did it because like, it was incredible. Yeah. I really liked the excursion. Um, and I really loved Dubrovnik. And there were so many different excursions to choose from when we were like on the cruise planning website, the Royal Caribbean Cruise Planner or whatever. Um, I really want to come back to the Dubrovnik. I would absolutely come back yeah. because th there are so many other things that we could do. And like, and even just going to the old town ourselves. Doing it on our own. Yeah. I would definitely do that too. So yeah, I would come back here in a heartbeat. Okay, so I've been posting on my Instagram stories and it's just for my family and friends. But I posted this photo of the stairs for Game of Thrones where they did the, the shame scene. I didn't give this any context at all whatsoever. All I did was post the, the staircase with shame. And it's like, if you don't know, you don't know that it's from Game of Thrones. It's like- It's so funny, shame. Like, shame. Am I saying like shame, there's a bunch of crowds here? <laughs> like, oh, what a shame. <laughs> I don't know. I hope people understand. Okay, we finished up our meal, came outside here. I, I really liked the meal, by the way. I'm so glad we ate up there because it's yeah. so beautiful up here. Yeah. Speaking of the view, check this out. Whoa. We were down there earlier. I feel like it really does like show how much walking we did today. I know. And I can't even see where our ship is. I think it's beyond those trees. It's like on the other side over there. So you can see how far away you have to take the bus to get into Old Town. Like that's Old Town. That's where you want to be in Dubrovnik. But the, the, where the cruise ships park, like there's three ships somewhere like over there. That's where we came from. We had to take the 20 minute bus ride. That's why this Whereas, ship might not yeah. be, they might not have the, the wrong idea. Yeah, so if, if you're parked over there and you tender in, we, probably the same amount of time. We think that's honestly probably better. Yeah. And not that you have any choice. It's just <laughs> the luck of where your ship parks that day. The draw. I feel like I can hear the zip line going over there. Yeah, there, I don't know where it goes exactly. Oh. I wonder where they land though. So the zip line starts over there somewhere. King's Landing probably. <laughs> so that's why they call it that. So it looks like it's basically the restaurant and the zip lining and just the viewpoints up here. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's much up here. But the restaurant is pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, you can basically like look into people's houses and see them naked. Okay. Doing the walk of shame. Yeah. Does it actually work? Yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest uh, quality. I'm gonna try it with the camera, see what happens here. Hey, it actually works with the camera. Okay, we got kind of chilly up here, so we're gonna go back down and get some ice cream. Because yeah. <laughs> that's good when you're chilly. They like Bruno Mars and Croatia. And they don't censor. <laughs> I didn't even know, know that those were the lyrics. <laughs> okay, we made our way down from the cable car. It's time for gelato. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be 
dozens and dozens of places within the city walls. You now we're like, which one do we go to? And it absolutely has to be one that labels itself the best gelato in town. Now, I'm sure that narrows it down to 12, 15, 20 of them. Yeah. But <laughs> So we'll go to one that says the best in town. And honestly, after that meal, we're, not even hungry. Do we go to multiple that say the best in town? Yeah, yeah, we're not even hungry, but we still have to get it. It doesn't matter. There's gelato. There's always room in your stomach for gelato. Okay, here we are. We're at the walls, entering the city. I think the walls are so cool. They are amazing. It literally doesn't seem like something that should exist. And it doesn't, I don't know if it comes across on camera how cool they are, like when you're standing on them and then look like, and then like you're on the outside of it and then you go in. It's gigantic. And then it's like, whoa, you're in the city. I don't know, there's something cool about it. I think what's cool is like, usually in America, if there's like a fortress, it is just a fortress, but it is a fortress with an entire city yes. inside and the city still exists. Yeah, look at this. Insane. This is insane. Honestly, it seems a lot less busy. Yeah, I think like no. our ship arrived late to town and all the other ships were already here. Yeah. And so I wonder if every other ship has to leave, but our ship gets to stay until late. There's the Iron Throne. I, I can't tell you again how many times I've seen Iron Thrones in gift shops. <laughs> I don't know how many people just like eat it on these stairs because there's a couple oh where it's like just one or two stairs and like I kind of don't see them and I'm like, oh wait. Oh my God, that would be bad. Yeah. So stuff like this, like the AC units and the wiring and the vents and stuff like that. Obviously we're all covered up or removed for the filming. I've noticed in some of the screenshots from the show that there's a lot of plants and stuff like that. So you can kind of tell that like Maybe they were covering up a lot of stuff because like there's a lot of greenery in some of the shots. And that's something I never would think about when watching the no. show, that the, like, that's what they did. No. We're on the main street area of the city now. And it's really funny because everyone is like walking around with ice cream. We've seen a lot of people with ice cream cones and stuff. But I remember where one of the ones were that claimed yeah, best in- Yeah, the second, yeah, yeah. So we're going back. This is the street that the dragon blew up. Well, I guess the dragon blew up every street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found it. Okay, this is the place we saw before. I remember this is one of the filming locations. I guess, what isn't a filming location? But like here? down that street was yeah. filming. And who yeah. knew? Gelato was right next door. So I guess this is Pepino's. It's the best in Dubrovnik. They're not making a huge there. claim. There, we said it. Yeah, there we said it. They're not making a huge claim that it's the best in all of Croatia. Just Dubrovnik. Which I appreciate their honesty. Yeah. Ooh, it looks cool though. It looks really cool in here. And a day without ice cream is a day wasted. Look at all the flavors here. Wow. Golden ticket chocolate. They have a Dubrovnik creme brulee, which is a traditional egg cream gelato caramel and a style of a creme brulee. I might get that. I got the Dubrovnik creme brulee. Looks good. And I got um, the golden ticket chocolate. Let's see. Okay, take a bite. Have you already taken a bite? I have taken a bite. Okay, and how is it? No? I bet you Dubrovnik has better. Are you? This tastes like Edie's ice cream. Let me taste it. I'll try the chocolate first. Oh, I like this. Do you? Yeah. I just feel like I could get it at home. I really like this. Okay. So gelato is different than ice cream. Yeah. So it's more dense. Mm -hmm. Like ice cream is more airy. Yep and gelato is less airy. And I think they use a different cooling method or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Let me try the creme brulee. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna trade here. I like the chocolate butter. Okay. I might like the creme brulee. Try this creme brulee though. It's not bad, but. I typically like a, a type of ice cream like that, like a non-chocolatey one, so. I hope you like the creme brulee because I actually want the chocolate. Really? I want this one. Okay, good. Okay, this is good. Thank God. <laughs> We're gonna take our gelato outside the walls here. Dang oh. it. <laughs> Here's some more. <laughs> There's gelato everywhere. We're gonna eat it outside here though by the water. This is actually my favorite gelato we've had the whole trip so No. Far. Yeah. What about the one in Split? I, this is my favorite so far. And I know like at least like, we had some in Italy, but I think this is better. Wow. Look at this. And it's like very like nice and breezy out here. Yeah. And those are the tender boats over there for the other cruise ship. Yeah, the orange ones, yeah. They're using their lifeboats. So if they sink, they're screwed. <laughs> the vibes here are impeccable. I'm yeah. strolling along the waterfront with gelato. <laughs> I know. It's honestly a lot calmer now. It was 
kind of hectic earlier midday. This is my favorite part of the day right here. Okay, so we're gonna go on a mission for gelato. Part two. Part two. Yeah, but I kind of I just want to like wander around. Like where where yeah. the heck are we? I don't know, but this is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Also, like look at this. I don't even know where we're going. This <gasps> down there looks so cool. You could just wander here and get lost, like we're doing now. Which I love. Because here's the thing, if you stay inside the city walls, like eventually you're gonna make it back to a main street and find yeah. your way. So you don't really need your map out, you're gonna be fine. They had an endless amount of places to shoot in front of. Yeah, I wonder how much of this like also was in the show, but just like wasn't on our tour. Yeah. So note to future self, because we really wanna come back to Dubrovnik. This place here, I think it's called Pizzeria Castro? Yeah, Castro. Okay, so, so it's yeah, Cuban. This place right here, this <laughs> this Pizzeria Castro, right by the Walk of Shame, which we're honestly a little surprised. Like, oh, really? The Pizzeria place right by the main tourist attraction is the best? But our, tour, our, guide, tour, guide our tour guide said that's the best place to eat in the city here. All the locals eat there. Said, all, she goes, I eat there. She goes, all my friends eat there. All the locals eat there. It's the best place in Dubrovnik. So, really want to try that. We can't do it today, but I really want to come back to Dubrovnik, so note to self. The only reason we can't do it time. today is because we're so full from up at the sky view. Yeah, we're, we're just way too full. Okay, let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> also, look at this bakery. <laughs> look at that cheese bread thing. Is that pizza? Oh my god. <laughs> Should we get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, okay, let's do this one. The Aroma Gelato Experience. I'm ready for my experience. Me too. Wow, look at these experiences. Mine was melting, so I had to start licking around. Right, so how is it? It's very tasty. So is this one better? This one's my favorite one. I keep saying that each time I go on. This one's my favorite one. I'm not so sure I completely agree with myself each time, but this one tastes so good. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, what flavor did you get again? I got caramel sea salt. Okay, I got the chocolate mocha with coffee. Whoa. I like the first place better. Really? I just don't know. That place seems so generic. I liked um, the Pepe's, or what is it called? Pepitos or something? Yeah. Yeah. If my camera work failed, it's because I was taking a lick of my ice cream, okay? And that's what's more important. <laughs> By the way, um, this was our most expensive gelato we've ever seen so far. Oh, that's true. It was like $7 or something. This was, it was like came to $4 each, so $8 total. So it's good. And it was an prices. experience, you know? No, oh, it was a full experience. Here, try your um, this mystery Fanta with the taste of the caramel gelato in your mouth. I'm sure I'll I'll get the flavor just right because of that. It's like a it's like a fine wine with a steak. This is a pairing. This is a gelato it pairing. It's very berry. Yeah, very berry. That's the flavor, is very berry. Carrie is drinking very berry. This is a um you have to pair your gelato with a soda. <laughs> and let it air, let the soda air. <laughs> let it breathe, no, let it breathe. Yeah, yeah, let it breathe. Let the soda breathe. Um, yeah. I'm definitely getting, I, I like your blueberry. It's like sparkling blueberry. Probably mixed with another fruit. It's zero calories though. Love it, love to see it. Again, this cap that doesn't come off. I like how I'm drinking this Fanta and like this fancy restaurant. Historic, yeah, fancy restaurant, historic street. Drinking my mystery Fanta. It's exactly what the Romans would have wanted. Okay, oh wow. It wouldn't be a tourist destination without the Hard Rock Cafe. It seems packed in the gift shop. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> the Rock Shop. The Rock Shop in Dubrovnik. I actually think, I actually love this shirt. Okay, yeah, that is actually really cool. It's like a Hard Rock Cafe tourist destination in like an amazing place to Brovnik. Like, come on. I actually like it. The fact that it's also, it's within the city walls. It's not like it's just outside. It's like, I know. this it's, is inside. It's in the historic city. <laughs> I was, I came in here as a joke, but now I actually want to go into the rock We're shop. going in. See, the problem is I really, I really like the color of this hoodie, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but Brian oh doesn't like hoodies, he likes zip-ups. I know, it's gotta be a full zip for me. This is actually kind of funny. Oh, that's hilarious. But then again, we're in here. 
Like, look at the shirt. It's like a guitar shape with like the historic city. I mean, we're definitely participating in the loop. I know, that's, that's what I'm saying. We're part of the problem. Yeah. You know, they have their sign as the lantern. It matches what every other business. I think that's so cool. It's such a fun way of having and signage. And honestly, from the outside, it's not like, it's not like. It's not offensive. No, there's not like a neon sign. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go down here now and go to the Rainforest Cafe. Check that out. I'm kidding. And next way. up, Margaritaville. Yeah. <laughs> we're kidding, by the way. Look at the one with the cat. We found some art over here. Adam. Remember the, um, which Harry Potter movie was it when he goes to Dubrovnik and he can see it in his glasses? Which which film was that? Was that part two, part two of number seven? Was that funny? No. <laughs> oh, look at all the cats. Oh, I love that one. And then there's one above, like, looking oh, down. Oh, and this one looks like Peter Parker. Yeah. Wow, Dubrovnik on top of the whale tail. Look, it's like we're crossing almost like a moat and a bridge to leave the city, the gates of the city. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, there's another gelato place down there. Don't see, worry. There's... I see the ice cream statue. <laughs> so we're walking out of the city now and we're gonna get back onto the Royal Caribbean shuttle to bring us back to the dock. And I love Dubrovnik and I wanna come back sometime. I think it's my favorite so far. Yeah, so far this is my favorite. Okay, here's our bus. It says Explorer of the Seas. Oh, we just missed it, okay. <laughs> well, let's go walk around for a minute. Well, we walked out. There's just an endless amount of scenic places to take photos. This is absolutely gorgeous, and I must know what's in there oh because look how cool yeah. that is. Definitely a dragon napping in there. Yes. We, uh, they, she told us there's scenes on this beach, multiple scenes, multiple scenes on that, looking up at that, and multiple scenes on there. I mean, just everywhere. This is, uh, we're looking down on the ba uh, Blackwater Bay, I think, right? Is that what it was called? Yeah, I think so. I had it's, I'm getting it all jumbled. We she, learned so much today. She kept saying over and over on the tour, like, I'm sure you're gonna rewatch Game of Thrones after this tour because like, you kind of have to in order yeah. to like place all the things together. She basically was like, it will be fun for you now just to like rewatch a few episodes or just highlights or something online to see like, oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that place. I was there. I saw that, like. Yeah. Sounds kind of cool, actually. We might have to. Yeah. Okay, we just got off the shuttle bus, and it's really funny. We, they have us exiting through the gift shop, which is like a local market area here in Port. They actually have Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Dubrovnik. That's cool. I regret not getting that Hard Rock Dubrovnik shirt, by the way. Or hoodie. It's too uh, tacky. No, it's cool. It's so tacky, it's cool. By the way, um, there's no Starbucks in Dubrovnik or in any of the ports in Croatia we went to. So I'm not sure how they left a Starbucks cup on the set in Game of Thrones. So I'm not sure how that error happened. That scene must not have been filmed here. <laughs> but I wish like, yeah, yeah. Where, where was that scene filmed? Because there's no Starbucks here. Maybe they had it shipped in specifically for the cast. <laughs> yeah, the cast. Yeah, the actors had high demands for filming. <laughs> no, but what's, what's really funny is I went onto Google Maps and I searched Starbucks, and because obviously I would get a mug, a You Are Here mug if they had it. Of course. It. Um, and what's funny is it says, do you want to see nearby cafes? Because it knows there's not a Starbucks near here. So it says, do you mean a nearby cafe on Google Maps? Isn't that funny? Yes. <laughs> but this leads us into tomorrow. There will be a Starbucks yes. in town and we will be going because we need that mug. Yeah, the first Starbucks we'll see on our cruise so far. Because I collect those You Are Here mugs, so. Oh my God. They told us yesterday Zadar had the best sunset in the world. It's no. here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is a video now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes, okay? Was that good? Yeah. Good. We're coming back so late we might have our gus already. <gasps> I see him. Oh my god. He's holding something. What does this say? Dress to impress. Oh. But we have to press our clothes because our we're not impressive enough to not. Wow, but look at him. I like that he has this little pocket. This is amazing. He's kind of like a kangaroo in a way that he has like a pouch. A pouch, yeah. So can we just call him the kangaroo? Wait, so what is... Okay, so this is a kangaroo? Yeah. Okay. 
There's so something else. Wait, wait, so do you think do you think he he came no more? Twice. Or did he come twice already? Is this how the bed is supposed to be when it's made? I don't it? think so cuz I think that these go like this. Oh, really? When it's nighttime and I think these lights are on when it's nighttime, but I don't know. Also, I feel like the the curtains are closed when it's nighttime. Oh, wait a second. So this might be our morning guy. This is our morning guy. Oh my god. There there's another one to come. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Yeah. Okay, for dinner tonight, uh, we're gonna do windjammer. We're just gonna do something quick. We're not that hungry, but um. Brian's oh. been like shielding me from tonight's. Uh, no, I just wanted to surprise you. What the theme was at windjammer tonight? So I, I'm not looking. Okay, make your guess. Italian, because you said that I'd like it. Nope. Tonight's theme is across the pond. So it's like English food, which I think is funny because we're currently on that side of the pond. So it's like on this side of the pond is yeah. what they should call it. Right. But it, do you like that or no? I think that's cool. I don't know. English food isn't that good. Oh my god. It's like known for being kind of bland. I think it's cool. I'm excited. Well, we're going to find it and we're going to see if we like it. Okay. I got a bunch of across the pond food. I got this Victoria sponge cake. I don't know what this is. It's like a strawberry pound cake. I'm kind of scared by the strawberry in it. Yeah. And then I got um, sticky toffee pudding. It looks like it's like completely fallen apart. Yes, it looks like it's... It's been regurgitated. <laughs> it looks like a cookie crumbs or brownie crumbs. Yeah. So I don't know. When I saw you getting the Victoria sponge cake, I thought you were getting it for me. Yeah, you can have some too. No way. No, I got my own. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you got the same dessert plate as that? Yeah, exactly. I got the exact <laughs> same dessert plate. Oh my god. But no, I literally saw you getting it and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Brian's you getting the dessert. Is? Oh, I got blueberry juice. Whoa. Is that across the pond? Huh. Okay, it's not bad. I've never seen Winterman have blueberry juice. Uh-uh. What's on your plate? Okay. English potatoes. Love it. Um, fish and chips. Mmm. Um, they also had like bangers and onions. I didn't get that. Yeah. Um, but look at this. This is minty mushy peas. Wow. And this one was, it was vegetables, bubble and squeak or something. That shouldn't be a or word. Or vegetables, squeak and bubble. Yeah, I don't think that that makes any sense to me. I don't know what that is. One of our English friends but on YouTube will I've clarify never, for I've us. I've never heard of this, so I had to get it. Of course. But, you know, this we're not we're not starving right now, so this is just a, like a quick dinner and then... Yeah, just like a quick dinner. Don't need a giant plate. We had a lot of ice cream today. Uh, my oh, but you got a giant plate. Oh, good. <laughs> So I got two different types of potatoes, the same that Brian got and mashed. I got a slice of bread because I didn't That was know. a mistake. Yeah. And then I got these like honey garlic chickens. And then I don't even really know what this is. It's some slice of beef. Kind of looks like prime rib. I'm not sure. Um, and then obviously pasta because we're in Italy. Well, we're not yet, but we're nearby. Soon. <laughs> is it a crime to get uh, pasta in the windjammer right before we go to Italy? Yeah, but when in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> that meat looks really rare, by it the way. Does. <laughs> <laughs> is <there a> bird locked <laughs> up The ship is just rattling as we're moving here. Okay, are we going to have another Gus? Wait, we don't. Yes, we do. Oh my God. I really enjoy that he puts it in the Gus garden. I, I don't like that. I actually want it on the bed. I, I'm not kidding. He's going with it. Okay, well then should we put the Gus garden on the bed before we leave? No, it'll freak him out. <laughs> it's a dog. This is actually the most sophisticated dog we've ever had. I completely agree. Look at its floppy ears. Look at its tail. It's a tissue. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the most sophisticated one by far. He's good. No, I, I do really want him to put it on the bed. I'm. No, I understand, but I like, I, I, I do appreciate a bed towel animal, but I like that he's going along with no. what we're doing. I'm just worried he thinks that because we've been putting them over there that he thinks that... Like that's where we want like them. He's like, oh, they're going to get mad if I put it on the bed because they want it over there. That's, that's not... 
<laughs> they that's where they go after they've that's starred they die no that's where they go to retire their <laughs> their they their starring role here is on the bed please note that corfu greece is one hour ahead of ship time i figured this online because I was looking at sunset and sunrise and mm. I knew that there was a time change and Brian was like, no, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. And no, because look, no, there isn't because we will not change the ship's time. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Okay, but yeah, look, tomorrow is our first stop that's not in Croatia. It's Corfu, Greece. It's our only stop in Greece. We're forced to wear white tomorrow for the dress code. Well, good thing we're going to Azumi because I don't didn't even bring anything white. Wash up and watch out. As I was saying earlier, we finished up all of our Croatia stops, and next we have Corfu, which is all the way down there. We have a long way to go tonight, but yeah, that's our only stop in Greece on this cruise. But we will see you there tomorrow. Is there anything else we should say? No. I'm tired. Me too. Let's go night night.